Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Shane back with me. We thought that we would get together again, me and Shane, and do a little bit of a Harley Quinn and the Joker collaboration. So this is, is this what you did for Halloween? This is, yeah, what I did for Halloween twice, actually. Yeah, this is what I did for Halloween as well. And it was actually really funny because Shane was in Melbourne at the time. I was in Auckland and we FaceTimed each other. And as he FaceTimed me, I was sitting in front of the mirror creating this makeup and he was doing his Joker makeup and we didn't even plan it. Yeah. It was so it was funny. Quite weird. It was very weird. Um, so I thought that now Shane's back in Auckland that we would create these looks and do like a get ready with us together. Yeah, because why not? why not? Why not? So these are the looks that we created. We sort of stuck to, like, quite true to the movie. Um, but we kind of just did a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit more of a glam spin on it. Yeah, more of a tweet. If, I mean, glam, if you could say glam. So if you like these looks and you'd like to see how we created them, keep watching. Let's dive on in. So... We use a primer first, MAC Natural Radiance, obviously. Love. It's super important, especially when you're going to do a look like this, that you really hydrate and prime the skin because that white, like that pale white kind of color really sticks and shows any texture. Also prevents the staining. Right. Yes, staining. Big issue with looks like this too. So, so what are you going to be using for your base, Shane? So I'm going to use Studio Finish pretty much all over my whole face. Okay. So that's just the palette. It's in really good condition. As you can see, <laughs> this is really nice. He's loved. He's loved. Um, if it's tighter than that, I'm worried, you know? Yeah. Like, I think things should be messy. I am going to be using a combination of Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and a white paint stick just to knock back that colour, make it nice and pale, um, but get a good sort of coverage behind it. I will use a little bit of paint stick too, just to sort of amp it up a little bit and part of the whiteness and stuff, just sort of to make it a bit brighter. I'm using just a mix of the lightest colours, it's like NW10, or like W10, and a pale yellow. Yeah, I think this is an NC20 mixed with um, the pure white paint stick. It's going on quite nicely. Let's do that. Making me look nice and pale. So tell me about the look. What so are you, what I'm, are you gonna paint? I'm kind of going to do like the traditional kind of like Harley Quinn. Well, I say traditional from the movie, from the Suicide Squad movie. I'm going to make it kind of like a slightly glam version, but still keep the eye like really grungy and dirty and cool. What's your take on the Joker? Um, I've done it a few times, mm -hmm. a few hundred times actually. Um, I'm just going to do a really, really dark, almost quite high fashion sort of take on it with like quite a dark, dark, grungy eye, super glossy, super black. I'm going to try to get it really, really black and really dark. And then I'm going to do like a smudged lip and just really sort of contoured and sort of gaunt looking sort of contour. Love it. It's little pale babies. It's not far off my natural foundation colour to be completely honest with you, that's depressing. I think to be fair, if I lived with there was no sun, I'd probably be this colour. If you lived where there was no Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. And that. Okay, so next day. step, we need to set this. Yeah, Whenever yeah. you're using like a cream like this, it's super important to set it. So we're just taking some, what is this? Minimize loose. Light. Yeah, is that'll it just be light help. Enough? It looks I think light. so, it'll just knock back like the whiteness a little bit, I think. Yeah. Press this down here on the bake. I feel like when you're doing makeups like this, this is a good excuse to do the old bake. You yeah, know? totally. Because you is. do want it to last. You need to pack that on and set it. Otherwise, it's just it's going to move because these products are thicker and they're creamier. And um, paint sticks, like what we've used, um, it is designed to it's designed to be creamy and move. Absolutely, for more like painterly sort of style makeups. Yeah. So what are you going to be using to contour? So I've got a few eyeshadows here. So I'm going to use copper plate alongside 
What's this one? Print? Yeah. And then I'm going to use a bit of carbon. Okay. I'm going to go ahead Not with the typical. sculpting powder. I'm just going in with the Woo! Some sculpt. I'm going to use uninterrupted first though. One of my favorite eyeshadows. Once again, a really nice palette. This child right here. What the hell is there? I think I might put just a tiny bit of warm soul blush, just a really, just so softly. I don't want to add too much color into this, but it just needs a little something on the cheek, just to wrap that contour around almost. So I think I want to do a slightly, slightly darker brow. Because in the movie her hair was like, obviously like really blonde, but the brows were really dark. So I'm going in with a bit of Soba right now, just in the front of the brow. And then I'm going to darken it up through the ends with a little bit of brown down. Are they eyeshadow shades? Yeah, they are. Sorry. Oh my god. I always, I always put um, eyeshadow on my brows. Oh, that looks so weird right now. My pale face and my one dark brow. Oh, you are looking gaunt. I feel like this potentially needs a little highlight. Yes. Okay. Give me some, give me some light scapade. I don't know how much it will do, but if we can get, catch a little bit of light, that'll do me just fine. So I'm just going through the paint stick and white going right through my brow, sort of just colouring right through it, trying to get it sort of as white as possible. Okay, so I'm moving on to my eyes now, so I'm taking a little bit, this is like an old um, MAC, I think it was the, like a, I don't know if it's discontinued or, it's called Heroin, and it's just like a blue eyeshadow, matte blue eyeshadow. So this is what I'm going to use for the blue side of the eye. That one was quite limited, wasn't it? It came out with fashion sets, do you remember? That's what it was. Yes, they did fashion sets and they match like lipsticks with like nail polish and like eyeshadows as well. That's right. So heroin's typically purple, but that shadow is quite blue. It is super blue. So the thing to remember with this Harley Quinn makeup is that you don't have to be too precious about your placement of the eyeshadow. Um, because it's not supposed to be like a really tidy perfect eye, it's supposed to be kind of a little bit messy and a little bit disheveled, like worn in. A little bit like me. Worn in and not right. Same. Same. Does that hit home? <laughs> Is that hit home for anybody? I think this generation can relate. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can. Oh, I'm just kind of like, just pushing it in. I'm blending out places and then pushing places in with um, my 239. So like more of a, less of a blending brush. But now I'm actually just going in with my two one, trusty 217 with a bit of print eyeshadow just to really cut out and darken that crease a little bit. Because we do want this look to be quite dark. And the blue on its own is not. Absolutely. So this is just going to give it a little bit more dimension as well. It won't look so flat. Wait, I'm just going in with a base colour. I don't even know what this one's called. I'm into it. I'm pretty much just going to do this real loose, so like, don't be fussed about how, like, perfect it is, because it's not supposed to be perfect at all. And I think it's hard, like, as a makeup artist as well, creating a look like this, because you're used to being so technical and, and making everything perfect. Like, this is breaking all the rules and it feels quite weird. Absolutely. I'm going to do the other eye now, which is like the pinkish sort of red colour. Um, and I'm going to use, this is another old MAC one I found called Gamela. Um, and that, I think that was potentially from fashion sets as well. Just a good kind of pink, pinky red matte one. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye, but trying not to make it symmetrical. Like, I don't want it to look like the same shape as the other eye. The shadow layer is so nicely. What is that? I'm into it, one of the new ones. Yeah, that's a cool colour. I might actually use that to darken up this pinker side. Or new in this market anyway. We haven't had it for the longest amount of time, but it's so nice. 
just using max rule right underneath. Same brush. It's oh my gosh. Off. We're gonna have to find out what this brush is. She's been through a lot. She's had a hard life. For some reason I've ended up with two of the same. One's mine. Oh. Don't forget it. It's actually and mine. Don't mine forget now. it. 266. 286. I'm just kind of going back and darkening with that and into it colour. Oh. Golly. Got a bit carried away there, but it, do you know what? It doesn't even matter. Oh. So I'm just using black track on my synthetic. 242. 252. What do you think about that, Christy? I think. Yeah, I think black track can be a good base. It can, absolutely. Yeah. Like it's set. I think it sure. just needs to, you need to not apply it too thick, is the thing with black track. My next step, I'm going to take a bit of feline, which is like a super, super black um, eye coal, and I'm going to put that in my waterline. While I look like I'm being possessed. I'm just going to sit under where I put that feline, just make sure everything's nice and dark. Glitter! Doing? I'm thinking a little bit of reflex gold. Ow. I'm going to put a little bit of mixing medium eyeliner gel. And then a little bit, I'm just going to press it on to a little bit of um, Reflex Gold. Oh my god, I'm going to close my mineralized powder. It's the last thing I want is Reflex Gold in my powder. My face Some will be shimmering really forever. Like my face would just shimmer forever. Yeah, I kind of like that. It gives it like an almost wet look. Um, do you know what? I think I'm actually going to pop a little highlight on the inner corner too. Do it. I'm going to use um, one of the MAC Super Slick eyeliners, a silver one. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this. Okay. Just to give that little pop in the inner corner. I don't want it to be too intense. It's the first time I've heard Christy say that. I never say that. <laughs> I'm gonna wear lashes, obviously. But I think for this look, I'm actually gonna use an old pair of lashes, like one that I've used before that already has a bit of mascara in it, so it'll give me that kind of chunkier, grungier, very Harley Quinn last night's makeup look. I love it. I'll press a little bit more black on top. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I always, if I'm going to reuse lashes, I'll always kind of like flick with my fingers a little bit of the like excess mascara off them. Just so they go a little bit, they're not as spiky, you know, they're more of like a fluffy chunky. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to draw up my forehead for me. Yeah, I will. I'll write, the, write your tattoo on. Okay, so I've got my lashes on now. I'm still going to put a coat of mascara on them. Um, but I think actually, in the meantime, I might move on to putting a bit of lip on there. Obviously, I want a really bright red lip. I'm going to start with um, Cherry Lip Liner. It's like a tree liner on my brow. <laughs> How good is the liner? Though? It's so black. I like that it's like a little, it stays black, like no matter how smudgy you're doing it, it's still black. I'm actually really happy with that, but it's all good, I'm just going to leave it. It's looking cool. I'm going to use good old trusty, um, I'm going to use a lip balm, just a lip conditioner on my eyelid. Really good way of getting like a glossy lid without it being really sticky, and I can't wear gloss on my eyes because it gives me a major headache. And then, of course, I'm going to finish this off with the infamous Ruby Wood. I'm going to go in and do a lip as well because right now I actually just look like a tree. A tree, or like a joke. Or. Not quite yet. Just a joke. I'm going to use Cherry. I'm going to go and chuck some nice kind of volumizing mascara on. Mac. 
an extreme dimension lounge. This is a chunky next morning lash, I tell ya. Oh, flip. So I want a real card in. Now I'm gonna do my um, Insta Curl lash on my bottom. I love this for bottom lashes. It's funny eh, how you can prefer like a one for your top and one for your bottom lashes. Is that so satisfying? Like purposely running it, yeah. I'm gonna do the um, the heart and the rotten, which is on the pink side of the face. This side. This side, acrylic, black acrylic paint. So I'm gonna do my little part here. I'm just going over and just brightening these places. I feel like it really sinks into your skin and starts to look like your skin time, so like to bring it forward, mostly on the cheek, in the centre of the sort of the forehead. There's my little cute little heart. And now, for my piece de resistance, I'm going to attempt to write on my own face backwards in a mirror. Are you ready? Watch and learn. Or watch and learn what not to do. We'll find out. Watch and learn. R. Oh my god, you're gonna me off. Sorry. One more letter. What do you think? Pretty damn good. Do you want me to do your detailing now? How's that? Imagine if I spelt it wrong. I think that's perfect. Damage? Damage. 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 Man, that's how I feel with all these lines around my eyes. I'm really liking your take on this Joker. Thank you. I feel like I've done it about 400 lines and it's changed every single time. Every single time. time. It evolves. Okay. I think we are ready to go into our hair and we'll be back. So these are the final looks that we created. Um, we hope that you liked them and we hope that you had fun watching us create these looks because we had fun. Yeah, it's always fun always doing fun. a little bit more of a crazy kind of character makeup. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if there's anything else, like any other character makeup you'd like to see me or me and Shane create. Let me know if you enjoy seeing Shane on my channel. How could you not? Look at that face. Did you see the Suicide Squad movie? I did. I watched it in the movies as soon as it came out. Yeah, so did I. I was so amped for it. And so I think it would be amazing. Yeah. I really liked it. I feel like it got a lot of hate, but I thought it was so cool. Why do you think people hated it? I don't know. People were all like up in arms about the whole thing, but I loved it. I loved the production design. I loved the way they had the characters. I love Jared Leto's Joker. Yeah. It's my favorite Joker. He plays I think it it's so well. So cool. And I love the makeup and everything too. I think it just. But I think Margot Robbie also does a really good take on Harley Quinn. Me so too. So fucking good. Me too. So I don't know why. I just feel like people like to hate on whatever they can really. Don't hate us. Thanks so much for watching guys. And we will see you next time.